Hi. Sometimes we don't have a component and uh, we can't find uh, in the, any of the services online, but uh, we have a 3D body. And uh, we can find a lot of 3D bodies made by community in different websites such as GrabCAD or 3D Content Central. And uh, you have to log in there, uh, you have to create your username and password and then you can download different projects that have been uploaded by the community. All right, and now I will show you how to use 3D body to make a new component. I surfed the website and I found um, some connectors which I would like to make. These are these here and um, let me wait. Yeah, and I can check the 3D bodies. Let's say that one suits me, the four pin JST connector with 2.5 millimeter pitch. I will download it and I will import it in my Altium. So here is the Altium and the 3D model is here in the step file. The step file is a standard 3D model file which is uh, recognized also by, by Altium. If you find any other formats you have to uh, transform them into step in order to Altium to import it. Okay, so um, first of all I have to decide in which library I would like to um, put the new model and um, I will choose since I will, I'm making connectors I will choose the library called um, connectory tipke. This is connectors and keys. So I will drag it in and now Altium will ask myself whether I want to extract sources. So I will do extract sources because I want to edit the, the library. And since I already did it once, I will just open the existing integrated library project. Okay, why is that so? Because the, this is the library I, I just imported in and here is the folder connectory tipke in which I get the whole project of that library. And then here is the project output when I compile the library, which I will actually use later in my design. So here I will open the PCB library first and I will import the 3D body. First of all, I would have, I have to make a new component. Double clicking, I will select the name JST, XH, SMT, maybe four pin would be also uh, appropriate and 2.5 millimeters. That's the name of the new component. And now I can import the 3D body. So I will go to place 3D body and I will import it. So here I have to find that the name is JST, I think, or something like that. Um, is S4B, yeah, that one. Open. So this is what I import, and as you see, it's just a purple square. Okay. Escape. Going to three, three D view. Okay, it looks quite nice. Okay, it seems okay. Well, more or less, it's fine. It has six pins. So, where do I put the pads then? Well, I don't see any. So yeah, I have to somehow. Um, mark where the pins are and I can do the marking in the 3D view and for that I have to um, configure the view by clicking here on this layer sets I, I get this property window here and here I have the view options when I can select the transparency of different layers and so on and here under layers and colors I can turn on and off each layer separately and here under, under system colors, here I can turn on and off the so-called snap points. Here there are snap points, 3D body reference points and custom snap points. So I can show them or hide them. So here I will show them because I want to place the snap points also on any of the interesting features on this connector. Uh, pressing zero will um, do the job of uh, aligning this connector uh, to be shown from top. So I will go select tools and add in 3D body placement I will add snap points. So first I have to select the 3D body I will add snap points to. So clicking anywhere on 3D body will do the job. Now I'm moving my mouse around and I'm moving it in such a way that it will snap to a certain vertex. Let's say snapping to this mid of this pin would be adequate. Okay, 
now the snap point is placed again another snap point is placed again the third one and if I make a mistake oh come on I made a mistake I have to now repair it okay I will do it after so I'll click here and oh now I made a mistake again okay now the fifth time it worked so I have to add snap points also to these pins here but during the snap points placement I cannot rotate the connector which is quite annoying so I will just escape and I will in the meantime delete the snap points I misplaced so remove snap points clicking on the 3d body now I have to move the to the snap points clicking it gets removed escape turning the 3d body around and now I will add snap points to these two pins here so again tools 3d body placement add snap points clicking on the 3d body and clicking okay now here is a problem because I would like to click in the middle of this pad and I can't but I have option of clicking on the uh, left and right edge in the mid so I would like to place the snap points in the middle between these two points here which I, I can actually do by pressing space so I'll press space now and now it says pick vertex one of two the snap points will be placed at the midpoint so clicking vertex one vertex two and the snap point is in the middle that's quite useful and this mode stays on until I press space again so I can just click on this vertex again and again on that one and the snap point is placed somewhere which I don't know where it is so I will do it again here and let me wait here now that's better again I will go to 3d body placement remove snap points clicking here and I will remove that one because it's just out of the way okay now I think I did it so this is pressing zero would do the job of aligning it again it seems fine now does it I will go to 2d view and it feels quite all right and uh, since this is a 2.5 millimeter grid connector I will use the grid of at least let's say 0.5 millimeters which seems fine moving it around it will attach firmly to the grid and now I can place the pad place pad okay in which layer I would like to put the pad I will click tab to go into properties and I will select top layer of course okay and the pad should have number one okay and the dimensions of the pad is a little bit too large I will use five millimeters and some 1.5 but nevertheless I can change it anytime so I will go to this snap point place first pad second and the number increases automatically for third fourth fifth and sixth pad okay escape and uh, let me check the 3d view oh god that's not fine it, you seen that no i didn't <laughs> okay seems fine here maybe the, these pads are just too going too too much inside so i might just move them a little bit outwards okay selecting from left to right would select only things which are inside the square selecting right to left it will select the touching elements so that's quite it's better in that term so I'll move them a little bit out a little bit more and these two I would just increase them because they are more uh, they have more mechanical um, I would say a role here okay maybe increasing even more 2.5 and 6 let me see 3 yeah that's that's cool that's that's fine now well, of course, you have to relate to the datasheet of the connector uh, for the recommended footprint pattern. But um, here I just did it for for fun, I would say. OK, let us let me move this into a point of uh, the origin so that when I pick up this component and I place it on the PCB, it would uh, the mouse would stick to this point here. OK so what do I need I have to uh, go to the schematics and uh, it's good if I save as well I need the schematics I would go to schematics library and I would just pick one connector with four pins and I will just duplicate it so I will copy it ctrl C and I will paste it ctrl V 
and here I will remember uh, rename it to JST X H SMT four pin two point five millimeter, and um, of course I need extra two pins because um, I will just copy Control C Control V, and uh, I will add extra two pins because I have to need pins for the uh, two two pins that are for mechanical purposes okay five and six all right so let me make a little bit larger square here like that and that's it more or less well let me sh maybe i can do change the way the pins are uh, designator are placed i will just show the name uh, like that so that's maybe a little bit more easy and here maybe and these two pins i even don't have to show the names so they would be like that okay and now i will remove the footprint which is uh, from previous and I will add the new footprint which is the new one I just made JST okay okay now check it out pin the map one to one that's fine and okay now if I click on the pins I have to check each one separately seems okay save going back sorry I just clicked place did I uh, going back to project, I have to compile the library. So I will save it and I will remove the sheet. Why did I do that? So I will remove the sheet, close it and then compile the library. Okay, now the library is compiled. Let me check where it is physically. So um, I will go to components and I will check the libraries here and file based libraries and physically this library is here you have to know that if the old library which was in the root directory was still here you would have to remove it because then you would have two libraries with the same name and the one which was just compiled is the right one now so that one should be used and in my first project I can now go to this connectors and keys library find this JST pin JST connector and place it okay that was not the right one J S T yeah that one okay and going to the PCB here I am able to import it design import changes automatically this is what we'll do uh, some course later on okay and the new connector is here. Now I showed you how to make a new component out of a 3D body uh, using um, the vertices uh, uh, reference points in order to define the position of connectors where you have to place pads. Of course you, you have to rely that the 3D body was made correctly so it's always nice to uh, refer to the data sheet as well to check out and to double check the the pitch the dimensions maybe to follow the guidelines for the footprint uh, pad sizes and stuff so all that is nice to check before you go into the design and production of the PCB